most proteins and many lipids of the cell membrane are actually glycoproteins and glycolipids to which short oligosaccharide chains can be added. For example, there is an oligosaccharide chain which determines blood type which can be added to proteins and even some lipids of red blood cell membranes. In this chain, the first sugar added to say the protein is N-acetylgalactosamine. The second is galactose. The third is N-acetylglucosamine. The fourth is galactose. And the fifth, known as fucose, is added by the enzyme FUT1 or galactoside 2-alpha-L-fucosal transferase. This is an important reaction because once this is done, this protein and sugar chain is considered to be the H antigen. If someone has blood type O, this is the end of the process, and this oligosaccharide chain is what blood type O individuals possess. However, another enzyme, known as glycosyl transferase, may attach another monosaccharide group to the end of this chain, depending on which allele of the enzyme an individual possesses. Type O individuals possess mutant alleles which do not function, so no more sugar groups are added. If someone possesses the A allele of glycosyl transferase, then the sugar N-acetylgalactosamine is added. And this is the carbohydrate chain which defines an individual as blood type A. If an individual possesses a different allele of the enzyme glycosyl transferase, then the monosaccharide galactose is added at the end of this chain instead of N-acetylgalactosamine. And this oligosaccharide chain will define individuals with the blood type B. Individuals who are blood type AB will possess two different chains, one which ends in galactose, this is the B oligosaccharide, and one which ends in N-acetylgalactosamine, this is the A oligosaccharide.